this is a, uh, a solo queue game. I think it's either a diamond, a high diamond or challenger solo queue game that I'm practicing casting on by myself right now. Uh, because it's a solo queue game, uh, there are... Uh, I can't get the start of the game, so I've managed to get in four minutes is the earliest I can get at this game. Uh, and the score is currently 1-0. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, Renekton did pick up a kill, so Renekton has one kill at the moment. I'm not sure how he got it. It was either an invade or he might have just straight up killed Lulu. Lulu has a death, so I imagine he just killed her. Um, and only has 20 farms, so it must have been quite an early kill. Uh, must have surprised Lulu, I would imagine. Uh, anyway, so here we are. Uh, because it's a solo queue game, it is blue team versus the purple team. Uh, blue team are rocking a kind of weird pick poke comp situation. Uh, I'm not sure where the shako fits in, to be honest with you, but there you go. This is solo queue, so what do you expect, really? Uh, and then you've got the purple team, where you've got um, a kind of a kind of fight comp. I suppose it, it's closer to a fight comp than blue teams is. Uh, it's not a fully fledged fight comp, it's almost a kind of more of a protection composition, but we'll see. This is the second time I've seen Cassidy. Uh seems the patch has done him well. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. So, we start with this bottom lane, as the camera has dictated, and now we're back to the mid lane. So, the Cassidy and Nidalee matchup, as you can see, Nidalee is actually Oom, while Cassidy is almost full. Uh, mana. I'm not sure how much casting really do. The Dark Binding does land down in the bot lane. Uh, they don't really do anything with it though, unfortunately. Uh, here is Caitlyn proving that she is the poke master, the leader of the poke wizards. Uh, so yeah, this mid lane, the Cassidy should really... Uh, shouldn't have too many problems, and really neither should the Nidalee in fairness. The Dark Binding landing there, getting a bit of poke off uh, with the help of those minions. Uh, we see Shaco actually about to run into this... Um, uh, the bubble lands there. The Shaco is ru has run into this Nocturne, but doesn't look like I'm going to do anything with it. Nocturne forced away. Shaco hanging around is also going to back. Uh, an interesting choice there. I think he was looking for the blue buff, and it wasn't there. Some nice damage coming out. Lucian actually almost dead there from that uh, from that little engage, that little fight there. Uh, Shaco actually hanging out in the background. Now he's seeing a low health um, a low health Lucian here, and he wants a piece of that. Perhaps after he picks up the white camp, or he may just walk away. Looks like he's walking away. Could have picked up a kill there on Lucian, perhaps, if he had vision. Lucian is actually hanging around while Caitlyn chooses to go back here. Uh, Cassidy having a bit of a tough time here with the range versus not ranged matchup. Uh, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem past six, really. Uh, I was going to talk about this top lane real quick. The Renekton versus the Lulu. Uh, Renekton has a lot of early game dominance, but uh, actually so does Lulu. Lulu is a famous lane bully. So it will be interesting to see who comes out on top here. The fact that Renekton actually already has a kill on Lulu would suggest that he has come out on top. But that might have just been a bit of a Lulu misplay here. Uh, Renekton incredibly tanky, especially this early in the game. Lulu not really doing as much damage as perhaps you would expect. Um, with those uh, Glitter Lances not really being the bully that perhaps Lulu traditionally should be. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. I think uh, Renekton tends to fall off late unless he gets fed in this early to mid game and he is on his way to that with that free kill there uh, and also 9 farm in the lead. Uh, so it will be important that they shut this down. Shaco actually coming in for the gank here Renekton's just hit level 6, managed to lock up Lulu. Lulu does not have that wild growth and will go down. That is two kills now for Renekton and also the assist there for Shaco. Shaco does need that early game, um, those early game assists and those early game kills. He's very much an early game champion. So very important. Uh, that gang there was actually quite important because that puts uh, Renekton quite far ahead and also allows him to keep building damage, not having to worry too much about Lulu not having to worry too much about those resistances, also putting him further ahead in terms of the uh, the gold. The uh, Dark Binding Man does miss, Caitlyn continuing to poke like a champion, along with this uh, Nami, putting out a lot more poke than I would imagine, considering it is a Nami. Uh, Nidalee is level 6 here, uh, Castin using that shield to his advantage, uh, but Nidalee has a lot of sustain, so it won't particularly matter. That Dark Binding, whoa, I just missed it, it caught the tail there, I feel, of, um, of Nami, but perhaps I'm wrong. Uh, you really, it's actually quite deceptive, the uh, the pool that 
that Morgana puts down, because it doesn't seem to do that much damage, but it actually gives, because she's got the Spell Thieves Edge and actually now the Frost, it actually gives quite a lot of, um, a lot of gold there. Uh, Renekton going in here, doing a, quite a lot of damage, but actually getting quite a lot of return to him, because he fought within those minions, uh, and Lulu returning a lot of that damage there. Uh, a bit unfortunate there. He is working towards the Hydra though, and he's always ha almost halfway there, or is always halfway there already. Uh, Shackle up in this top lane. The Ace and Hole coming in gets blocked by Morgana. Good, well, girl, I guess, but it probably is a guy. Morgana there. Uh, and then we have obviously the Caitlyn dodging that uh, Dark Binding, which is a very nice dodge. Uh, Shaco hanging out around these wraiths. Uh, we have the Nocturne is behind him. Shaco's actually jumped over the wall here. Uh, Kasten backing away. The Engage here, the Ignite goes down, but there is the Wild Growth coming out from Lulu. The Ignite is ticking. I don't think Renekton's going to be able to pick up a kill here. That Whimsy just um, speeding Lulu away to uh, to safety there. Renekton taking a few too many tower hits, really. Three tower hits, not really something I think he was hoping for there. But he's going to stay in lane and see if he can at least push these uh, his minions up to the tower there. Uh, Nidalee, going back here, is sitting on uh, 60 farm to uh, Kasten's 42. Uh, so Nidalee quite far ahead here at the moment, picks up that chalice. Uh, Kassadin has not got the early game kills that really make him particularly strong in the mid game. He's really going to be much more of a late game damage dealer. He's got to build up that tier and, he, uh, and we'll see how that works out for him. Caitlyn level 6 here, still um, poking down this... Uh, Lucian punishing him heavily for walking up there. Actually picks up the kill with the flash. That was uh, impressive aggression there. Just knew that Morgana wasn't there and exploited that completely. We actually see Shaco um, on the map here doing Dragon by himself, using his clone to his advantage there. Uh, I think Renekton just picked up the blue buff there. Cassadin didn't want it, or perhaps did want it, but it's solo queue, so uh, it's every man for himself, really. Uh, there's the Dragon for Shaco. Renekton. Doing the deeps, getting some return to him. I don't think he cares too much. He does have, um, actually he probably doesn't have that lifesteal yet. Uh, Cassidy doing some damage here, but it's going to get a lot returned to him by Nidalee there. A good trade. That to uh, bot tower does go down. Caitlyn picking up that bot tower. So that was a dragon and bot tower there for Lucian's death. A very nice um, uh, use of uh, controlling those objectives there. Shaco proving that he is viable. It's uh, hard to come by a uh, Shaco that really uh, presses his skill sets there. There is the uh, Paranoia going off. There's actually a gank going off in the mid lane here. Nidalee gets that. He gets the horror off there, flashes over with the Duskbringer. Uh, he has actually met Shaco there. The Dark Binding landing on Caitlyn in this bot lane. And the bubble lands on the Morgana to negate a lot of the damage that could have come out there. Nothing comes of that mid lane gank. Uh, it's Nocturne coming, uh, coming up to this uh, bot lane now. Might try and cut somebody off. Caitlyn and Nami are running. He's actually going down the river. Uh, meanwhile, this Renekton continuing to do some damage to this Lulu, but not really too much. Gets a lot of return to him. The teleport coming into the bot lane here onto this minion. Morgana in the wrong place. That's Shaco with the teleport. Just kills Morgana there. I didn't even, That was impressive. Again, Shaco doing well. The flash ulti coming in from Renekton. He's going in, gets the ignite on him, and a tower hit there. He might go down here. And the Ignite does take him down. That was a good play there by uh, by uh, Lulu there. Renekton actually also doesn't have Teleport. We have a fight on Shaco here. Uh, I think Nocturne has picked the right one. A very nice spear for the uh, for the assist there for Shaco. Diddly coming up big right now. This inner bot tower now um, getting poked quite heavily down here by uh, the Kaelin. And not a lot Lucian can do. Caitlyn currently sitting on 105 farm to Caitlyn, uh, to Lucian 64. Uh, so very far ahead at the moment. Also has a kill. Caitlyn's sitting on the, on that pickaxe. Has gone back now. Or is about to go back. Not sure what she's going to buy. Uh, might go straight for the Infinity Edge here. Or uh, perhaps the Legolas build. Nope, she is. Might be going for the Infinity Edge. Or is going to go for the Bloodthirster and then finish the Infinity Edge later. Either way... She is a lot of damage items ahead of, uh, of Lucian at the moment. Uh, Renekton has gone back and picked up even more damage. 
uh, and is now trying to engage. The Whimsy comes down. Shaco is here, though. He is stealthed, and there he is putting that red buff. The Flash forced out of Lulu here. Lulu might be in trouble. The Wild Growth might have to be used. The Ignite is ticking onto Lulu here, and the Shaco just jumps in and finishes her off there. Wild Growth not available, was in fact on cooldown. Uh, Nocturne is here though, might be able to make something of this. Shaco is actually waiting around. He just goes straight to the tower. The Dark Binding misses in the bot lane. They're trying to return some damage onto some Magana. She overextends and she suffers the consequences. The dive coming in onto Nocturne here. Uh, Renekton successfully tanking that tower and then slicing and dicing just in time. Meanwhile, the Soul Shackles locking up uh, Caitlyn down here as well as... Uh, as uh, what's her face completely forgotten the name all of a sudden that's very interesting nami that's <laughs> a double kill down there anyway uh Kastin buying off a bit more than he can chew goes back in to try and deal some of that damage using the shield to his advantage uh the new Kastin actually very good at trading because of that shield allows him to jump back in and uh, deal damage while his lane opponent really can't do much against the shield especially if he's laning against someone who's ap obviously only blocks uh, magic damage Shaco doing classic Shaco tactics of uh, counter jungling all of uh, of Nocturne's camps. He's just come in for that red buff. He is not there, Nocturne. Shaco is in the mid lane. Uh, is not going to pick up that kill on Cast. In a very slippery, a slippery um, champion there. Renekton going in, gets whimsied again. There are a lot of minions after him right now, but he's going to go in anyway. Lulu in a spot of bother here. Does have the Wild Growth this time. Is going to get a nice trade there. Managed to put a lot of damage down onto Renekton. Of course he has. There goes the um, the ulti there. He's going to take taken very low. Um, Lulu could finish him here, and she does finish him with a nice Glitter Lance there. There's the Paranoia. Nocturne has found a no-mana Shaco in the jungle and manages to kill him. That is double buffs there for uh, for an Ecton. A very nice spear coming out from Lulu here to uh, take that Morgana very low. And here's the ace in the hole coming through. Not going to be enough to kill, but oh, Morgana so low. The flash but gets binded with the flash under tower. Kastin might actually get a kill here. The ignite is ticking onto Nami. The heal comes out. Now, now Nidalee's in trouble. One more tower. It manages to get away. That was very dangerous. And there's the dust bringer coming in that summoner heal used to save nidalee a bit there but there's the tidal wave oh it just takes that with a very nice spear from the back onto that uh onto that nocturne and nocturne i think are very upset with what just happened there uh, i think he was hoping for uh, at least one kill there and it just didn't happen too many slippery champions on the blue team here another nice spear half health now for Lucian, they're just gonna be able to pick up this tower pretty much a free tower here because there's not a lot Lucian can do. The 90 caliber net hits him, he does have to dodge away from that spear there that might have actually killed him. Now, Morgana's here might be going for a dark binding here, does not connect, was very close. Caitlyn, quite low on mana here, is probably gonna to want to be backing off, and yep, and there she goes. Nidalee sitting on double buffs, uh, which is very tasty. A lot of nice buff transfers went on there, they were originally Shacos. Uh, they were traded around a few times. Renekton going in gets whimsied again, but is actually going to back off this time. Uh, all the other times he's gone pretty deep, but uh, not this time. This time he's backing off. Meantime, blue team picking up that dragon. Uh, Shaka once again using the clones to his advantage. Had a little help from Nami, but was really um, I'm not sure how much Nami did there. Uh, Lucian being helped to farm this jungle out because he is still behind in farm. He's caught up quite a lot. Now 105 to Caitlyn's 129 which um, is good news for him. He managed to pick up the Bloodthirster. Caitlyn already has it and also has the Berserker Greaves. Uh, Renekton going in here gets uh, Wild Growth up, so that's both ultis down this top lane. He flashes back in to stun Lulu under tower. Both ignites are ticking. Lulu actually picks up the kill here. Uh-oh, that is the phone ringing. Pause for just a second. Um, I wouldn't like to cast it while the phone is ringing, obviously, because uh, that would be depressing. Um, so we'll just wait for this to, to ride this one out, and there it goes. Um, we're back into the zone now. <laughs> uh, that was interesting. So, Caitlyn, as I was saying, has the Berserker Greaves as well as the Bloodthirster, and has that pickaxe, so it's still quite far ahead of Lucian. 
uh, but only uh, has the exact same kills and is only ahead in assists. Nidalee back here behind Lulu. Shaco coming in from the front. Nidalee going to get a bit caught up here with this horror, but manages to pick up the Lulu. Is coming, getting quite low though. This Nocturne diving through towers. Paranoia into this tower, but Nidalee flashes away. He's now under tower, and Shaco is going to pick up that kill. Uh, Nocturne going a bit deep there. Um, a strange decision by him. I think he thought he had more damage than he actually did there, or perhaps thought Lulu wouldn't die so quick. Uh, meanwhile, Caitlyn using the fact that uh, she knows that two of the members of their team are dead to push up this mid lane, trying to um, get some damage onto this tower. I don't think Morgana or Cassidy are really going to allow it. Might want to consider rotating around and actually putting some nice poke onto these guys. Cassidy actually almost goes down there, is forced to uh, rift walk away. Lucian in this bot lane, free to take this tower. Uh, Shaco is actually on the way, and uh, Lucian is backing off a bit here. Pearl Team have actually left this mid tower undefended, and Blue should pick it up. The Dark Binding landing on, Mor on uh, Nidalee in the top lane here. The Ignite is ticking, and there she goes. Morgana actually picking that one up. Shaco now on Lucian's head. Uh, this is grim news for Lucian. I don't think he's going to survive this one. The Culling goes off. He's actually turning this one around, but <laughs> gets killed by the clone. That was some very nice use of the clone there uh, by Shaco. Uh, Renekton picking up some wolves, trying to assert his dominance in front of uh, of Nocturne, uh, showing no respect, taking his wolves right in front of his eyes. Uh, so Blue Team are now probably going to back, pick up some items. Uh, Caitlyn now, uh, with that zeal, probably going for... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he went for the Phantom Dancer, or perhaps the uh, Static Shiv for the Wave Clear. Uh, red buff is up, this top tower gonna go down to Lulu, finally takes that out to top tower. Caitlyn is on the way up to try and challenge this Lulu perhaps or at least get the farm. Uh, meanwhile we have Cassidy in, in this mid lane who uh, was trying to do something to the tower but Nidalee got there in time. Places a ward in that lane so he knows uh, um, movements of champions between the two lanes. Oh, excuse me, I just had a cookie, it was delicious in case you were wondering. Uh, Nidalee now um, in a bit of a bad position here. Lulu coming up behind. We also have uh, Nocturne fairly close, and I think his paranoia is fairly close to being up now. Uh, and Shaku is not close. Uh, so the blue team is going to rotate into this mid lane now. Caitlyn is on the way down. Uh, we have Nocturne still trying to stack up, I imagine, his um, Feral Flare, which he still doesn't have. It's now almost 20 minutes into the game without the Feral Flare. They did actually up the amount of stacks that you need for it. Uh, Shaco also does not have that Feral Flare stacked up yet, but he does have six kills and he also has the Infinity Edge. Lulu finding Renekton here, but gets a spear to the face and uh, Ace in the hole to finish him off there. I think he bit off a bit more than he could chew. Uh, the Dark Binding coming in, Caitlyn in a pretty bad position here. There's the Paranoia straight onto Caitlyn, but Nocturne gets exhausted and shut down completely. Lucian too far out of position there. The Ignite is ticking, the Soul Shackles come out, but it's not enough to save Morgana. Morgana goes down, and this should be a tower for it looks like six members of Blue Team, but it is only five. This is not Hexakill, do not be alarmed. Uh, Shaco really proving to be quite strong here at the moment, and Blue Team might actually be trying to finish the game here. Uh, there goes the clone, and Purple Team actually surrender that game. Uh, I have to say that was complete domination by um by that Shaco there. Was really not expecting it, but he played the game so well, as well as Caitlyn just putting on that uh, that aggression throughout the game and not being afraid to just charge at the enemies and start auto attacking them, especially with the help from uh, from Nami. Uh, almost a textbook win there for Blue Team, and that was <laughs> they would have won even without the surrender probably just after the 20 minute mark uh, so a good game there for blue team uh, so well done blue